fortunately, I have a decent stock of lightning crystals now. So hopefully, I don't have to farm any today. looks incredibly certain we're going to actually make some MSQ progress today. Unlike last week. Where could he be? Oh, there you are, Archon. Harrison's ready to discuss how to begin building the statue, but we dare not start without you, Koopo. Now let's see what he has to say. We're on a monumental task. Argon, how good of you to join us. Once old D graces us with his presence, we can begin our discussion. Oh, here he is now. Greetings. For what purpose did you summon me here? You require my strength once more. Goldie. We avail ourselves of your legendary strength. All of our work thus far has brought us to this decisive moment. Without your stout wings, I fear we'll have little hope of success. Of course my wings are yours. I would never stand idly by as my friends struggle. No task is too large for me. We could count on your support, Kubo. Finally. We are ready to begin work on the Mogbender's first official commission, the statue requested by Glenn Burstein. A monument to friendship and peace, now lost to time. With their new tools, the Mogbenders are working with more vigor than I have ever seen. I believe they are more than ready to rise to this challenge. We are ready, Kubo. Ready to build a statue. A uh, statue of... Of what exactly? That's the answer to that question that I which I've been contemplating, my dear Mogson. Fortunately, we have no pictures, no stories, and no remnants on which we can base the statue's form. We know only it had stood more than one thousand years ago, during the age when dragon and man lived together in harmony. Could it be a Koopa tree? Or an enormous cloud mallow? Do not be daft, Mogzen. A statue likely depicted Matt Dragon and Man. Brother once told me many such sculptures used to dot the land. He, I must say, had much the same thought. What a better subjects that could there been to immortalize a bond which, at the time, must have seemed unbreakable. Even so, there is still much so much we don't know. How were they posed? How many were there? No statues remain to draw inspiration from. Tarson, do any survive down below? Perhaps, but I fear they might be difficult to procure. Fortunately, there are still those who think simply glimpsing such an image would be grounds to accuse one of heresy. However, there may be another way. Our mutual friends, the Temple Knights, have spent generations chasing heretics. Doubtless they have seized at least a few of their idols during their ceaseless struggle. Archon, there is much work for us to do here at Barless. I'd ask you to journey to Ishgard and ask our dear Honolulu if he can part with an idol. I have confidence he will oblige your request. However, if perchance he is hesitant to do so, hand him this letter. I believe it shall proved to be adequately convincing. What of us? While well, Archon is away, what should we do? Continue our stonemasonry practice? No, my dear Mogson. There are preparations to be made. Speak with Mogmul. I'm ready the stone we will use for the statue. Aldi, pray help Mogson with his duties. My part. I also begin drawing up plans for the statue's base. Well then, I look forward to meeting again. 
May we all return with good news. closest to the Forgotten Knight. On the loop, I need a thing. Uh, and That's new. Okay. Grab that real quickly while we're here. Iron Idol, seized from the heretics. Yeah. My apologies, Archon, but such a request is not within my power to grant. I understand that much as I would like to offer you a helping hand, there are some matters where my reach is limited. Got a letter. Like, does this help? Can I have an idol now? From Terrison. He writes that the figures in question were taken unlawfully from the churning mists and the Mughals as caretakers of the ancient ruins therein are obliged to petition their return. Are there other more bureaucratic approach than he anticipated? But I would expect no less from a Lord of House Samael. Skilled with his words as he is with a hammer and chisel. Oh, I'm scared, letter. He's not told you? A cunning old fox is none other than Tarasin de Zemael. Formerly Count Tarasin de Zemael. Although he has long since stepped down, he still does not scruple to intercede in various affairs. In any event, his reasoning is sound, and I see no harm in following his plan. Speak with my man, Van Kinnett. He will provide you with what you need. Will he, he provide me with a pronunciation guide to his name? Because that's what I need right now. You're a car and idol, yes? I believe this one should do. They all look the same to me. Dreadfully ugly, isn't it? Well, I suppose there's no accounting for taste. This one is Sky Steel. myself on having an eye for talent, and you, sir, have it in abundance. Don't suppose you've heard of this new collectibles fad, have you? No? Ah, I've got to do something about that, then. Here, take this letter to Laird and Lona, and open its toll. She'll take care of the rest. Yeah, I'll do that, um, later. We got Mog home base things to do first. Gather to get those, though. I returned. Was Handle up willing to oblige our request? an object of heresy and untailed evil. Seems harmless enough to me. The craftsmanship is superb. I do believe this will provide the perfect model for our statue. Excellent work, my friend. 
However, I cannot help but no notice you no longer have the letter I wrote. I suppose that means Sir Hondalup told you who I am. What is that a simple epistle could s would sway a man of his standing? Well then, let me apologize for the belated introduction. I'm Tara Sundance M.I.L., erstwhile Count of my house. I'm happy to see my son now enjoys that burden, leaving me to spend my days as I please. I try to stay busy, of course, and our project here has been a boon in that regard. For do not think this some whim born of idleness. No, this is how I wish to live out my twilight years, as my true self. It's a craftsman. Now Semiel was built upon a foundation of mastery. Mastery of wood, steel, and stone. From a young age, I strove to learn the techniques of my forefathers. Alas, once I became Count, I was forced to trade my hammer and chisel for quill and parchment. Count's craft has uphold the honor of his house, his tools, his wit, and his wiles. I was bound to the eternal struggle for glory and prestige, and as the months bled into years, my days as an artisan faded into half-forgotten memory. I was in this single-minded state. I raised my sons, teaching them naught of the joy of crafting. Perhaps by imparting my knowledge to others, I am in some small way trying to alleviate that regret. <laughs> I have gone on too long again. Truly, I thank you for listening to this old man's ramblings. Now, let us return to the task at hand. The statue must be built, and I have a job perfectly suited to your skills. The sculpture must be polished to a mere sheen if it is to be remembered. And to that end, I would have you make the materials required to do so. As always, Mogma shall provide you with all you require. Bring your completed work to Mogsin, and we shall make use of it at once. Traver of Kuponuts. You seen them moving those huge stones, Koopa? Just watching them made my tummy rumble. But I will do my duty. Till the statue is complete, I'll be here to give you whatever you need. I need to make a high quality statue supplies. I just saw using that. Probably, yeah, would have done it all by itself. That's made. Here you go, Mogson. How come? It goes without saying, but the Mogmenters are grateful for all your help so far, Koopa. Just a little bit more and we'll have it finished. So let's see what you've made. Certainly you've done it yourself this time. Gulabusti would surely be in awe of the quality of our work. And now, all that's left is to build, build, build! You go, Moogles. Get right on that. Done it, Koopo. Can you feel it? This must be how the landlords and skylords felt the moment they built this plaza ages ago. I can only imagine what Gulliversity's reaction will be. Little ones, how fares your work? If it is too difficult, simply say so. I shall allow you to return home before I raise this place to the ground. On the contrary, Gil of Mercy, you could not have arrived at a more opportune time. The statue is complete, and I dare say even more majestic than it was before. Behold! I have not 
seen this statue in a long time. Yes, it is as it was. Almost. Your work is adequate. As promised, I shall leave you be. Continue in peace. Almost adequate? Why would he say that, Koopo? Yeah, it's kind of a dick move. What's your problem, buddy? Almost adequate. Statue is completed. It has been arcaded on Barlas. It would seem your work is complete, but Golden Birdie's cryptic words suggest otherwise. Opt, <laughs> honored, blah blah blah. Same things as always. Bloody blah 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 blah. Okay, Mogic, what do you got? Work that mellow repeat. It'll pick me up, repeat. A fine finish, repeat. Helps to actually talk to the guy I'm trying to talk to. Blah blah blah, get on the mallow, do the things, blah 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 blah. Moogles. Can you release me to location two, please? Thank you. Locations I had to do that. Now we'll head up to a fine finish and down to work that mallow. You fly about the same speed on these as any other mount. There's no particular reason to get off until you need to non-mount things. What's up? 
size of a near component. Easy peasy. Boom. High quality. Yep. Yeah, that's gonna be done. Gets delivered to this guy over here. Um, there's more than one cat mount in the game. This is just, I mean, this one costs real life money, but otherwise, it's the easiest one to get. <laughs> Uh, the other ones I can think of are all like Savage Boss, Savage Trial rewards. Each expansion has a theme to their Savage Trial mounts. Um, for ARR, they were horses, so there's like there's a variety of horses and ARR that you get from each of the mounts in trial mode and each of them when you ride them will play their respective bosses uh, battle music in Endwalker the theme was cat so all the trials in Endwalker for completing savage mode there is a chance of a cat mount dropping Where are you gathering to a component? There. Yes, hi, Amy. You want to come up? Give me a second. No? Pokes her head up and then refuses to actually jump. You're a very odd cat sometimes. That time she came up. To ask you three times, twice though. Really like sitting like this, huh? Her front paws are on her on the armrest, and her back paws are on my leg. She's very fond of sitting like this. That's you. Okay, that's all this round of quests done. Now we go back and see if we've got anything new. scratches I think there's also a boss in Stormblood that is a um, it's a white tiger Yako and then I think it's it might have a mount that it drops. I'm fairly certain there is a minion you can make with something it drops as well. 